Hello friends, today let's see how to configure a fresh laptop. Uh, suppose you buy a new laptop, there are few initial steps which takes 15 to 20 minutes to configure the laptop. I am going to show you uh, the all the steps on how to configure a new laptop. This laptop is a new HP laptop which came pre-installed with Windows 11. So I have turned it on for the first time and I will take you through the steps on how to configure this laptop. So once you turn on the laptop, uh, you get uh, you have to uh, enter these things suppose uh, which is the country that this laptop is going to be in so it is India so I have clicked on yes and then it will ask for the keyboard layout it is English India so again yes do you want to add a second keyboard skip I am not having a second keyboard so I am skipping it so now it is asking me to connect to the Wi-Fi so I am connecting it to my uh, Wi-Fi so that it gets updated with all the latest updates. So right now uh, I am connecting it to my Wi-Fi and once it gets connected, let's see what happens So yeah, now click on next So it is connected and once we click on next it is checking for the updates So once uh, it has any updates, it's down it will download the updates and it will install the updates If it doesn't find any updates, it just proceeds further so it is checking for updates. I think it takes a bit of time here. So the total time to configure the laptop is around 10 to 20 minutes in between 10 to 20 minutes depending on the number of the updates and on your uh, internet speed as well as well as the laptop speed. Uh, so now it has it went for a reboot. Uh, so it has checked for updates. I'm not sure whether it has downloaded anything or installed anything. It just went for a reboot. You can see the HP lo logo coming up. And now again uh, it comes up and let's see what all needs to be entered once the laptop is up. So as of now it is still checking. This is the same, these are the same steps for any brand laptop, not only HP. This will be the same steps for any brand laptop as this depends on the OS operating system which is Windows 11. Now it's asking to accept the license agreement which we need to accept if we need to use Windows 11. And it is asking to name the laptop it's your wish you can skip you can skip or you can name it let me go ahead and uh, give a name so i am blurred that i have blurred the name that is the reason you are not able to see the name and then click on next i just named uh, give a random name and just clicked on next and now here uh, it'll take some time it again went for a reboot as you can see again the hp logo came and it again went for a reboot uh, and then it is doing something I don't know I have fast forward this uh, part of the video and now it is asking me to add the Microsoft account if you have an existing Microsoft account you can use the same but as I do not have a Microsoft account I am going to create one and uh, here I, I am going to add my Gmail ID or any mail ID you can add your personal mail ID or any mail ID uh, any mail ID and then click on next so that it creates the account now it will ask to create the password for that uh, uh, account so you can enter your password whatever password you want to create this will be a new password so whatever password you want to create this is for the microsoft account not for the laptop so this is for the microsoft account so for the gmail id with this password it will get paid so again it will ask for the name uh, uh, your name it will ask for the first name and the last name and i have blurred it obviously so then click on next and then it's going to ask for your country region and the date of birth my country region is India and the date of birth I'm just giving a random date of birth which is like April 1st it's a full day, right so I'm just giving it's a random it's not my exact date of birth I am just giving some random date, random date of birth to show you <coughs> so now let's go ahead and click next okay whoa okay so let me give 2000 yeah now let's go and click next so it will it will send a pin to the email id that you have registered with so you have to open that email id and you will get a mail and you have to enter the code here it will be a four digit code this is the code and i would like information i have checked it out because i don't want any spam mails in for my email id so i have uh, given the four digit code and i have unchecked that uh, spam thing uh, for information and then it's again it's again uh, it's it's now this is a create a pin this is the pin that is required to unlock your laptop this pin is for your laptop 
so you need to create a pin let me you can uh, just uh, below the confirm pin you have include letters and symbols so if you want to include that in your password you can include that otherwise i'm just giving the numbers so it de totally depends on what sort of pin you want to set for your laptop so i'm gonna set a six digit pin as four digit it was say it was showing some uh, error with the four digit pin so i went ahead and created a six digit pin this is only with numbers and now it is again checking something let's see how much time it will take so this is the same process for all the windows laptops uh, all the windows laptops it will be the same steps now it is again privacy settings so i am going to select no for all the things it's location find my device diagnostic data inking and typing so i am gonna select no for all the things as these are not required if you need we can enable it anytime whenever we need it so advertising ad so i am i am gonna do all that or you can skip it and then go next this is again customized i'm just going go ahead and skipping it if you want you can select any of those as per your wish so now again i'm fast forwarding the video as it is taking more time uh, to configure uh, this will get that laptop gets configured as per the selections that you have uh, as per the selections that you have done in the earlier page now as this laptop comes with ms office pre-installed so it is uh, activating that ms uh, it is uh, i think it is downloading the ms office now this is a hp thing you can uh, i mean if you have a different brand of laptop you may not sort of see this this is for registering the laptop with hp and now again uh, i have registered it and i just went ahead and registered it you can, we can skip it also if even if it is hp we can skip it i just went ahead and registered it if it's a different brand laptop you don't see that screen itself now again it is checking for uh, updates and it took a lot of time here uh, i just for, fast forward the video and now getting things ready for you now we it's coming with the first boot so it is coming up with the first boot it is going to load uh, uh, it is going to load the OS now so as you can see this might take a few minutes here uh, so in total it will just take anything anything in between 10 to 20 minutes depending on the laptop speed and your internet speed so once this is up uh, you can see the start menu on the window screen and you can start using the laptop this will be the first time these are the steps for the first time if you buy a fresh new laptop and the first time you are uh, you are setting up the laptop these are all the steps that are needed so let's see how much time oh, okay now the now that the laptop is ready you can start using the laptop guys it takes a lot of effort and time in making these videos. Please do support my channel by hitting the like button and do subscribe to my channel and share this video if you like this video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.